In this video we'll be looking at defining sine and cos using the unit circle. So say we have a unit circle here and we have a line going from the origin of our axis to the edge of the circle. And this line it forms an angle of theta with the positive x-axis. We can also write the coordinates of a point at the end of this line as being xy And we can also draw a triangle using this, using this line. So if we draw a vertical line coming down from the point to the x-axis, that makes a right angle with the x-axis. And we can write the length of these sides, the length of this bottom side here, the length of this bottom side here is simply x and the length of this side on the right hand side y equals 0 up to y equals y so its length is just y and lastly the length of this hypotenuse here the length of the hypotenuse is 1 so I'll just give you a few moments to write down what sine theta and what cos theta are in terms of the length of the side of this triangle just pause the video grab a pen and a pencil and we'll be back in a moment So hopefully you've written down something for sine theta and cos theta. Sine theta is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So the side opposite to this angle theta here is y. And the hypotenuse is this one here. That's the longest side of the triangle is the hypotenuse. So we can write down sine theta equals y divided by 1. But if you wrote that down, you might have realized that y divided by 1 simply just equals y. So we have sine theta equals y. For cos theta, it's the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So the side that's adjacent to this angle here is this x down here. So the adjacent side length is x. And we're dividing by the length of the hypotenuse. Once again, that's 1 which means that cos theta equals x. This is the really important thing that we want you to remember is that sine theta equals y and cos theta equals x. So we can write this point here on the unit circle. We can write this point xy as cos theta sine theta so the x coordinate here is cos theta and the y coordinate of this point is sine theta so we have a line here and the angle of this line is pi on 3 that's 60 degrees So we have a point here, x, y, and we want to write the coordinates of this point. We know that x, y equals cos theta sine theta. If we haven't done this already, we'll be doing it shortly. But the sine of pi on 3... is equal to the cube root of 3 on 2 and the cos of pi on 3 is equal to 1 half so that means that we can simply write the coordinates for this point as 1 on 2 the x coordinate is cos theta so cos of pi on 3 is 1 on 2 and we can write the y coordinate y is sine theta sine of pi on 3 is 
the square root of 3 on 2. So root 3 on 2. And that's the coordinate for that point. So now what we can do is we can write our coordinates for, for lines that occur somewhere on this part of the first quadrant of the unit circle. In the next video what we'll do is we'll look at how we write these points for the second quadrant, the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant.